All right, what's up, Leo? I had a request for your video, so here you go. All right, first of all, let's get the outfit, all right? Don't worry about the shoes, but get the outfit. There we go, there we go. Look at this, right? Looking stunning, stunning, right? Dapper, love it. All right, Leo. <laughs> so, hope you've been doing great um, for this month of June. It's almost over, so take this as like, um, some reflection right this this um, this video right should be like some reflection and let's see if it brings up any energies um, right of uh, the upcoming July even though next week if I get another request then you'll get a July video um, all right so starting off right with Oracle card messages angel Oracle guide the soul's lesson journey and then of course we're gonna go into tarot so I think I'm going to make it a six card spread, right? It's the end of the month, so like I mean, basically what else could happen in the last like few days, right? A lot though, right? Tonight is the full moon, so this is why you get a video. All right, so for Leo, there we go. Signs and reminders, all right? So you have signs and reminders, Leo. Try not to catch the glare. And if you can hear like the the fire engine in the background that's just like one passing in the distance anyway signs and reminders leo so that means your angel guides your angel guides right are communicating to you through um signs and reminders so like in the imagery there's like butterflies birds feathers rainbows the stars the clouds um even water you may be receiving messages or signs and reminders um, by possibly like seeing shapes or images within a shape, you know, um, or seeing certain animals or insects fly, fly by you, right? And like you're really the only one who pays attention to them, but like no one else is really like seeing that. The next one for Leo. All right. There we go. So Leo, you have, excuse me one second. Expect miracles. I think we've seen this card before, right? Maybe not in the Leo reading, but we definitely have seen this card come up before. Expect miracles. So that's your angel guides um, basically letting you know, right? We're giving you signs and reminders, right? That your miracles are going to manifest for you, okay? Now let's get the Soul's Lessons journey for Leo. Okay. Are we approaching Leo season soon? Cancer, cancer season right now, right? If it's, if it's um, Western astrology. There we go. I'm gonna get one more first. There we go. I like this, all right. So, Leo, you have doubt, right? Look at that, very green energy right there. Earth tones. I release the need to know all the answers, right? So if you're doubting a situation because you feel like you don't know all the answers, then this is a reminder that you should leave the doubt out of the equation, all right? It's going to vary for every individual person watching the video. Um, purpose. I know what I am here to do. So, right, maybe some of you should stop doubting because I feel like maybe you do know what it is that you're supposed to do, and some of you, for some apparent reason, right, um could doubt your potential, right? Or because you don't know how that process of of knowing what you're supposed to do in this lifetime, right? You don't know all the answers for how you're gonna get there to that process for some of you. But the reminder is to release the energy of doubt. Releasing the need to control, right? Or to have some sense of control when it comes to like when something happens and how it happens when also the universe leo is giving you a sign and a symbol that's saying right quite possibly let things work out right in divine order divine timing especially something that you really want right something that could feel like a miracle all right very interesting so let's see what we have what stories we have to pop up here what energy we have to pop up here all right this is just a free shuffle so for leo let me just give them a nice little shuffle i like to shuffle before i start the videos but um 
and shuffle just a little bit before the reading so you could actually see. Sometimes in videos it looks like there's a trick of the eye, you can't even tell if it's like really being shuffled. Alright. Leo, are you ready? Alright, six card pyramid message for Leo. That's card one. Where's card two, please? For Leo, the six card message. That was two. That was a oh. Nice. Magician already manifesting. Alright. What's the fourth one for Leo, please? What's the fourth card for Leo? Yep, that one. Alright, the fifth one for Leo. Whoa, oh, and the sixth one. Okay. So, Hangman in Reverse. Interesting, and the Magician. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, Leo. So far, making an appearance, you have the Magician, right? Major Arcana and the Hangman, which came out in reverse, right? So, let's see. I'm gonna flip over the cards and let's see the other cards, all right? Okay, so, Leo. Starting off, Eight of Pentacles, right? So the Eight of Pentacles, usually it's like the card where like it shows that you're really working on yourself. You're really working diligently on like um, perfecting yourself in a manner that like you could accomplish the goals that you set out to have right um, but in this deck if you look at the imagery a little bit more um, the person is surrounded with the seven Pentacles and they have one Pentacle on the book and a pen, a pen or a, a feather in their hand so that they can like sign because I feel like there's a contract coming your way there's some there's things that you that are gonna require your signature right and investment because this is a Pentacle that's on the book so whatever's on that book is like the thing for you to invest into, right? So some of you are deciding, like, are getting ready to like sign your name in towards something that you're going to have to invest either your time, your energy, your money, or all three. And for some of you uh, with the Magician card, and then the Ten of Pentacles, for some of you, The ten is just like ending something, right? It's the ten of swords is usually like betrayal. But you're starting over with this magician, right? In a sense, because it's one. So now I feel like you're taking the lead and you have full control over yourself even more. Because with the magician, the magician's controlling all elements. And for me, all elements are like, you know, your rage, your passion, um, your emotions, right? Your physical being. Basically with the magician, it's how are you mentally, physically, spiritually, right? And emotionally. The four. Um, so, I think you're in a, in, a, in a position, right? To like move away from anything like this, this type of energy with the Ten of Swords, where you're, you quite possibly might be stuck, right? In an energy of like, you've been hurt, you've been betrayed, you've been disappointed. Because you have two tens. The ten of wands and the ten of, of uh, swords, right? And these are the two that have like a slightly like negative um, meaning in the beginning, but then it's a positive, right? Because like, yes, this person has been betrayed, right? Yes, this person has like been through experiences that were like, that made them feel like they had the weight of the world on their shoulders, right? But it's the ten, so they're over, they're ended. Like, in this moment, you're going to pull out. Now with the Magician card, you have everything within yourself that you need to, right, release yourself from this and start over and have new mental clarity, right? To put down those wands, right, and place them in a way, right? So then now you can start over with a new passion, a new desire, and with the hangman in reverse, it says it's time for you to come out of stagnation, right? Because when someone's in the hangman phase, you're needing to see things from a different perspective, right? And we have swords energy here, right? The ten of swords. So that's the card also of the mind, right? And how we see things. Followed by the nine of swords. So you have the nine of swords and the ten of swords making an appearance, right? So, for some of you Leos, I just get the energy of, like, you need to let, like, 
anything that anything or any energy any thought right any behavior that keeps you feeling stressed i think it's time for you to like release that right because you have the nine and the ten i'm getting different messages so like just stay with me it's like you get different messages for different people like at first this is just one message these two cards is for like a specific person out there quite possibly or a few right you're manifesting now you have the opportunity like this new endeavor that you take is going to put you at the forefront and you're really going to have to take charge right and show what you're capable of doing what you're capable of manifesting right because with here the magician also has to show you from the outside perspective what he's able to do as the magician right Whereas the high priestess doesn't have to say much because her world is also more internally and it's like more of like the mental realm, right? I feel like when you have to go toe to toe against the magician and the high priestess, you're fighting the high priestess when you're sleeping in your dreams, right? And the magician you fight in real life. Um... But overall, looking at this, definitely you are letting things go. For some of you Libras, sorry, for some of you Leos, you're letting things go, right? You're letting, like, any negative mindsets go. You're letting carrying too much, right? Probably carrying um, the weight of relationships, right, for some of you. All right pretty much done with this one so now that it's 11 minutes and 48 seconds we're gonna go into the extended right I was like why not do an extended now right that's perfect so I did that actually yesterday I think with the Libra reading and quite possibly with the Sagittarius so if you have uh, Libra and Sagittarius in your chart go check out those videos I also uploaded the Virgo video and the Scorpio video this week um, so again if you have placement um, in your natal chart, right, in your astrological chart, um, and it shows that you have placement for Scorpio Virgo, go check out those videos this week. There were the last messages for, um, for the month of June, and then next week I will start the, um, the videos for July, you know? So, let me see, yep, Six of Pentacles for some people, so I think for some of you, there's, um, a type of energy of like recipro reciprocation, right? Is that the word? Or you're gonna, it's gonna feel like reciprocity. That's the word, right? Where you're gonna start seeing like, it could be energetically or financially, right? There's gonna be more of a balance um, with finances and the give and takes in, um, in relationships with people. And you have the two of swords, so definitely that means like the six and the two. Um, I mean the, the two of pentacles. So the six of pentacles and the two of pentacles adds up to the eight, which means like things are going to start working out, right? It's going to be better because when it's in the eight of pentacles, which was the first one that came out anyway, right? There you go. You're right back to it. Back to the eight. Back to being in um, a position of like... Not perf not quite perfected, but more in the sense of more experienced, right? And because of that, you're able to be more productive um, and more prosperous with your time, your energy, and for some of you, your finances, okay? All right. So that seems like that was pretty shuffled, right? All right, so let's go for the extended. And let's see what we get here for Leo. Let's get four cards, please. That makes it a 10 card spread. Okay. So seven of swords and six of wands. All right, so interesting. For some of you, it's just like, with those swords, it's like, also I see it as like, not just like somebody trying to get away in a negative way. Cause she's kind of like, she kind of like, doesn't look like she's being malicious also in the imagery of the card. And also there's no one else around. So I feel like 
she has stumbled across, because there's eyes in this, right? And there's swords. And she's picking up as many as she can without getting cut. So that's why there's still two left behind. Let's see if I could get you that imagery there. Okay, so, you know, I want you to see the card so you can see what I'm saying. Understand what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Do not kill me, Leo. That was hilarious. All right, so you see there's two eyes at the top. The person's carrying as many swords as possible without being, I think, I think without being able to get cut. That's why there's still two left behind. So they're carrying five swords. The swords we know is all about clarity, power, right? The ability to see clearly. That's why it's clarity. But like see things clearly, even not necessarily with like with this vision, but like processing things, information clearly. And it's gonna put somebody in a position again. It's gonna put them in a very victorious position. It's gonna put them in a like a very stable position where people are gonna see, right? And acknowledge you for 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 some of you it's for who you are, you know, the things that you do, your presence. But also, it, it comes to like the way you do things, right? The way you manifest and make things happen, because it's the wands. So the wands is creative energy, right? It's sacral chakra energy, it's, sec it's sexual energy, right? It's the energy that is used to actually, in the physical, right? With that Mars energy, to go into action and make something happen. It's the tangible, physical aspect of creation, too. Oh, King of Swords. So the Seven of Swords actually, right, is going to be victorious with all this new information that they have, new mindset, new way of thinking, a new way of being, right, applying to your day to day. Stay with me. And then with the Six of Wands, it's just like you have everything you need now. Like you have like, you have enough artillery, you have enough experience, right, with that Six of Swords to step into a higher position. Right, uh, and with the King of Swords, remember the King is logical, right? Because it's the mind, so someone more logical, um, someone intelligent, somebody who is um, what's that word? Uh, what's the word? It's an English word, right? Articulate. There we go. <laughs> so someone articulate, someone um, logical. Someone smart, someone who knows how to communicate what they want, right? With the sword, they have clarity, they have a direction, they have, they know the power of their words, right? Because they think. All right, last one, Leo. Page of Swords and learning something new again. Interesting. The Page of Swords came out in uh, somebody's reading yesterday, either Libra or Sagittarius, with the Queen of swords and now it's making another appearance but with the king of swords so again this is being in a place of um those seven of swords for some of you leo there's a lot of shit that you need to learn there's a lot of things that are yours that you may be like maybe you help people out but there's a lot of you just need to pick your shit up <laughs> right keep all your ideas to yourself and start creating with those new ideas leo okay because it's gonna put you in a very it's gonna put you in a position of uh power right but intellectual power you know and it, don't be afraid don't or please be open to learning something new okay because with the page of swords it's like you're starting to learn something new you're like in the beginner stage of something right all right at the bottom king of cups so for some of you there could be someone with um water sign energy right that um has like is the king of cups they may be in their head about it or you're in your head about it but i think they see you as the empress right for some of you leos but either you can get out of your head right to see that this person actually does um have like an emotional connection to you or they're trying to build that because it's the king of cups right so it's the most mature divine masculine energy um, when it comes to emotions, right? So look out for that. And this is Virgo. This is a uh, Libra Taurus energy, if I'm not mistaken. Empress.
All right, so I gave you two extra cards, right? That's awesome. All right, Leo, I hope you liked these messages, right? Remember, like, share, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, right? So if you get circulating, follow me on my um, Instagram and Facebook, Jose Alfredo Ra, and then TikTok, Jose Alfredo underscore Ra. All right, Leo, so enjoy the rest of the month of June, and I'll see you next week, quite possibly, right? If you request another video, Leo. Bye.